Hey, welcome all of you on the platform of your Pedia education. And uh, you know, there are so many opportunities in the field of higher education abroad that uh, it will all it will provide you opportunity to learn also and earn also. Both the things are available. And my this video is related to uh, getting uh, the opportunities abroad, getting good scholarship abroad. Uh, if that uh, matches your field of interest, then how to obtain it? There are a couple of sites which you can access. There are a couple of sites which you can search, which can, you can go and find such opportunities. Uh, the moment, uh, you know, if you uh, the, find such opportunities, then you can apply in those uh, opportunities. You can approach the professors which uh, reflect these research areas. So there are some sites which keep on telling you that in these universities, fully funded you know, PhDs or MS program with scholarships are available. Professor is looking for uh, those who can work in that area. If it matches with your interest, with your field of interest, like, you know, uh, you're, you have done that work in that field, whether in B.Tech or Masters or something. If it matches your interest, you drop mail to them. But the mail dropping is very, very uh, important thing. Professor will respond to you on the basis of how you drop that mail. So that is where you can seek the help of your PDA mentors. And also your PDA mentors are going to guide you how to search these kind of things. One of the options, let me discuss with you. There is a site called findaphd.com. Uh, let me share the screen. Maybe you understand better here. So if you go on Google and if you write find a PhD, then this site will pop up. Findaphd.com will pop up. You go inside that and uh, the moment you enter inside this particular site, you will find, you know, there are so many programs. So you will find that there are programs and different things are mentioned. Depending upon your background, whether you're law student, physics students, or humanities students, chemistry, whatever business, whatever you want, you can choose one of the options for you. Let's say I, I go for engineering. The moment you go for engineering, you have to write something, some keyword into that, some discipline you have to write. The moment you go into discipline, let us say whatever discipline you are from, let us say you are from mechatronics. Then if you go for mechatronics, you'll find some opportunities for mechatronics and he's showing you some uh, uh, 40 options related to uh, mechatronics. Let us say this one, developing a new tracking and mapping algorithm for augmented reality for visually impaired. Now that is a research, latest research area, which is in the field of mechatronics uh, going on, like for visually impaired people, how to find out, you know, uh, mapping algorithm. That is a latest domain. Let's get more details of this. Let's get the more details of this. The moment you go into this, this is a fully funded PhD program and this is for international students also. So application will be accepted all around the year. That is not a problem because the project is going on and it is in the University of Sydney, that is Australia. So uh, things are mentioned about this. You will go through this project. The moment you go through this project, you will understand whether it matches with your field of work or not. Suppose you've done your master's in uh, uh, mechatronics or if you've done something related to mechatronics, robotics and all, machine learning and all, you will find this particular thing relevant. Also, they are saying that uh, this is the aim of the project. This is what the project wants to do. And uh, there is, yes, there is a PhD stipend, 35,000 uh, Australian dollar per year. So that means approximately $3,000. And as I told you, $3,000 is sufficient enough for you to save and money also and meet all your expenditures. So that is all details are provided. So you will write your name, you will apply and you will drop this mail to the professor. Now this message is very important. That is where I was telling you, like, uh, you have, uh, you know, you, you uh, discuss it with the mentors of your PDN accordingly write this mail because the moment you submit it and drop the mail, the probability of getting calls is very high. If you do this process very nicely, if you do this process nicely, then everything will be done. And, uh, also this is a entire project, you know, they are mentioning it as area, A R I A. So this is the research uh, domain, entire research domain where people are applying. And they must have uh, mentioned also that what your uh, requirements are. And uh, algorithm is to do it. So main challenge is to do this. All these things, I think you can go through this. And uh, what is required is also they mentioned in all these particular things. So you can also see the profile. 
style of the professor who actually is uh, conducting this particular uh, entire uh, work so you can access his profile also go to his profile also i can see what is uh, what is he doing and uh, you can link your work with the uh, this particular professor so this is how you are to search particular domain and similarly you know if you go to other domains also uh, on this other areas also other than mechatronics there are so many other fields are also available in that discipline you can go for so many other fields like if you are from uh, let us say uh, petroleum engineering there are so many students who are from petroleum engineering also in petroleum engineering you will get multiple options you can see you know ink jet printed graphene silver nano composites sustainable additive manufacturing so additive manufacturing is another good domain 3d printing additive manufacturing is another good thing thing where you can get so if you read in detail about where this uh, opportunity is so uh, the details of this south hampton south hampton university of south hampton uh, south hampton if i am pronouncing it properly Mm, and the detail these are the professors you can access their profile also what these guys are doing uh, engineering materials are detail they will provide you know now you have to see whether you have worked on uh, uh, you know scm or pem or xrd you have worked on that and you have done some kind of modeling or predictive modeling you have done or not so these things if you know uh, it will be very easy for you to understand how it is to be done so closing date uh, 31st march is the closing date for that fully funded hai ye this entire thing will you getting application is to be done online you have to you know go for it and uh, this is they have explained in clearly uh, and uh, so this is all about the university they are mentioning but as i told you you have to you know also uh, see what professors are doing so these there are so many such opportunities uh, i told you one of the sites today spend a day or two on the site but i tell you strongly that uh, the consultancy or the counseling of the mentors of your pedia can be very helpful in making entire your search more optimum and getting you good scholarship because it is all about you know whether you get 2000 dollars scholarship or 3000 dollars scholarship you understand it makes a big difference and in phds or in ms you get the scholarship and if you keep pushing if you keep applying the scholarships can range there's a huge range of scholarship which you can think of so i'll keep on exploring uh, this i'll keep on telling you some more opportunities related to that keep doing that so that ultimately you land up in a very good opportunity so all the best and uh, look forward to serve you and uh, help you in attaining these options thank you